Hi, this is Glenn Doreen from Popular Mechanics at CES 2013. We're going to uh, bring, uh, we're going to walk through the floor and just sort of uh, take a look around. Uh, no particular agenda. We're on our way to a meeting, but I figured uh, not everybody gets to see what this show looks like from the ground floor. So let's take a look around. Follow me. You can see that pretty much uh, the floor is dominated by uh, huge booths. There are tons and tons of people. This isn't even the highest traffic of days. This is day, uh, what is this now, day two. Uh, a lot of the sort of craziness and excitement have uh, leveled off somewhat. As you can see over there, there's a, uh, there's a presentation going on. And so you'll have tons of conversations, people talking and screaming. Uh, it's very much a sort of carnival barker style atmosphere. And we're in Central Hall right now. There's actually three main halls, one of which has two floors. So it's just enormous. And Central Hall is sort of the big, the big news. It's where a lot of the biggest displays and the big companies are. Here's Samsung's booth, for instance. And you can just sort of sense the scale of it. And this is the outside of the booth. If you're around this corner, you then go inside and you can see that there's basically rows of televisions, tons of cell phones, lots of people. So, there's also this sort of uh, one-upsmanship in terms of signage. I love that you'll basically see these stacked signs going as high as they possibly can to the ceiling. And you know, as obnoxious as it may sound, it's actually one of the best navigational devices you can have because you can almost never find anything here. And one of the things that I've been noticing uh, over the past uh, couple of years is what the mix of companies are and who's putting out the big booths. Because the big booth is really just sort of a, a company's statement that, well, at least as far as they're concerned, they matter in the technological world. Um, so one of the things that I've been tracking here is I've noticed that there are more and more uh, uh, Chinese branded companies. Uh, now, for I think nobody's surprised that a lot of electronics are made in China. Uh, in fact, the majority of our electronics are made in China, but for the large part, they've largely been made by American, uh, Korean, or Japanese companies. And uh, what I've noticed is that companies like Hisense and uh, uh, Huawei have started to try and make a uh, impression in the U.S. market. And TCL, here's a good example of it. So up here is TCL. They are actually one of the largest television makers in China. And they sell an enormous amount of TVs there. But you'd almost never know about them in the U.S. market because they're sort of in the, uh, you know, you know, colloquially they're sort of the bottom feeders of the uh, TV market in, uh, in America. But in China they're huge. So now what they're trying to do is they're trying to improve, improve their quality, really, uh, you know, not necessarily be a bottom feeder in the market, and um, and 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 start to get volume sales the way that, uh, for instance, Vizio, which most people don't realize is an American brand did a couple of years ago. One of the things that's remarkable from this show though, uh, especially this year, is who isn't here. It's pretty remarkable that uh, this is the largest electronics show, it's the largest technology show in the world, and yet Apple does not come here. Uh, Google has almost no presence here. Um, Microsoft pulled out and no longer actually has a booth. Facebook has no uh, presence here. Those are, those are the four biggest technological brands. And they have essentially claimed that they don't need this show. Uh, they, they do their own events, because, and with good reason. You can imagine how an, a new product announcement would get lost at this show. You'd really end up with trying to make a statement and you pretty much can't get heard uh, because there's so much noise that, that the message you're trying to get across, the product that you're trying to launch, just doesn't even make news amidst the chatter. But just on the other side of this wall, though, over here, uh, are two of the biggest um, um, two of the biggest booths that we have. In fact, we'll cut through and, and, and take a look at it. Here is Hisense. It's one of the Chinese brands that I talked to you about before. And there is Intel, which is one of the largest brands that does actually uh, come here because they really they rely upon the partnerships that they have here. And you can see that there's a lot of interactive displays. They really invite people to come in and play with the stuff. Just in case you think that the action is over when you go outside, not at all the case. And so that was a quick little walk through CES. That was one of the 
of the three halls, and uh, and that was probably around five minutes of walking just to get from here to uh, just to get out the door from uh, from Popular Mechanics booth, which is in Central Hall. Um, I'm not even going to burden you with South Hall and North Hall, but you can be assured that there's just as much stuff there as there was that we just saw. Um, and this show. I keep thinking it's going to implode and get smaller, but every year it gets bigger. This is the most attendance they've ever had.